Hi everyone, my name is Riley and today we're going to help you select and purchase your first set of grow lights so that you can start growing your vegetables from seed indoors. Today we're going to be talking about standard lighting that you can purchase and use as grow lights as a beginner to start seeds for the first time indoors. And the reason why we're not talking about specialized colored LED lights that are marketed to gardeners is because number one, we want to keep this as simple as possible. And number two, we want to keep this as inexpensive as possible. And most importantly, number three, I want to ensure that if you follow these three simple tips, you're going to be successful the first time you start seeds indoors under lights. Rule number one, know your growing area. And by that, all I mean is how much square footage do you need to light in the area where you're going to be growing your tomatoes, or your peppers, or whatever vegetable from seed. In last week's example, in the video of starting tomato seeds, I suggested that you use a standard 10 inch by 20 inch seed starting flat like this. So in this week's video's examples, we're going to assume that we have two of these side by side, and we just need to calculate the square footage of two of these trays side by side. One tray is 1.4 square feet, so two trays is 2.8 square feet, and we're gonna need that number when we calculate the intensity of the light we need in rule number three. If you're growing in a bigger or smaller space, just calculate the square footage of the area that you're growing in, and you'll be able to use that number in rule three. Rule number two color temperature of our lights. Standard lighting is rated in a color temperature on the Kelvin scale. That's really not important. What's important is on the light itself or on the packaging somewhere, you're going to see a rating for the color and it's going to be anywhere from 3000 to 6500 K. You want to choose a light that is a daylight light and that color temperature is gonna be between 5,000 K and 6,500 K. So rule number two, color temperature of your standard light you're going to buy, make sure it's between 5,000 K and 6,500 K. Finally, rule number three. Rule number three has to do with light intensity. Or how bright of a light do we need over our square footage area to make sure that our seedlings are going to be healthy. Light intensity of standard lighting is measured in lumens. And rule number three says, we want three to 5,000 lumens per square foot minimum. More is better, but more most often costs more money. However, your plants are going to grow faster with more lumens. So let's use our three rules on three different examples. Apply this and see how you can use this to buy your first set of grow lights for starting seeds indoors. Example number one, old school. This example and this method of growing seeds under fluorescent lights has been used by thousands and thousands of gardeners with great success. I'm gonna put up a graphic either here or here as I'm talking so you can see uh, exactly what I'm describing. This method requires that we buy fluorescent light fixtures that are standard shop lights. With those light fixtures, we're going to buy T8 fluorescent tubes that fit inside those fixtures. Now, when we're using this method, we have to keep these lights directly over the area where we have our seed starts. If you have the light here and the seed starts are over here, you're not going to have enough light to grow these seed starts. They have to be directly over the seed starts. Because they're only five inches wide, you're going to need two fixtures side by side over your 10 by 40 inch grow area. <clears throat> so I found, I'll put up another graphic, I found T8 tubes with 6,000 
500 Kelvin color rating, so check on rule two. And each of these tubes put out 2,900 lumens. So if we have two fixtures over our two seed starting trays, we're going to have four tubes. Four tubes times 2,900 lumens each gives us around 11,600 lumens over our entire area. And when we divide that by our grow area of 2.4 feet, we're going to get something like 4.2 thousand lumens per square foot, which is perfect. There are some pros and cons of using this method. The pros are obviously it's very inexpensive. The whole setup can be had for around $50 or less if you shop around. It has been a tried and true method by thousands of thousands of gardeners, so you know it's going to work just fine. Some of the cons are these have to be placed very, very close to your lights. I'm sorry, the lights have to be placed very, very close to the plants, one to two inches away. That may make it a little difficult to get good airflow across all of your seedlings. The other con is these lights can get a little bit warm and because of the low amount of intensity coming out of them, you're going to have to keep them on anywhere from 18 to 24 hours a day during the seed starting process. Example number two, we're going to call old school new technology. I put up a graphic here or here, and these are still four foot shop lights, but instead of using T8 fluorescent tubes, these use LED. The lumen ratings on these are 5,000 lumens per light. Just like the T8 light fixtures, we would need two of these over our 10 inch wide seed starting trays. So we would have a total of 10,000 lumens. Dividing that by 2.4 square feet, we're going to have around 3,500 lumens per square foot. Towards the low end, but still enough for you to start your seeds indoors. The light rating on these particular lights are 5,000K, so that is also on the lower end, but it will work. These lights will probably have to be on 24 hours a day and most certainly will have to be kept one to two inches from the tops of the plants. But the price is even cheaper than the T8 fluorescents at 18 to $19 per light. And you don't have to mess around with the T8 bulbs and worry about those T8 bulbs breaking. Our third example I'm going to call high output grower. And this method utilizes a, another fluorescent light, but this is called a T5 high output fluorescent. The T5 bulbs are 5 eighths of an inch in diameter, but the fixtures that they are designed into allow these smaller diameter bulbs to put out as much as 5,000 lumens per bulb. So in an area like this, that is 10 inches wide by 40 inches long, you're going to have a 12 inch by 44 inch fixture above this with four T5 bulbs in that fixture, each bulb putting out 5,000 lumens. So you'll have 20,000 lumens of light over your grow area. If we divide that by our 2.4, square feet of growing space, we're going to have over 7,000 lumens per square foot. What that means is more lumens means faster growth and it also allows you to pull these lights away from the plants a little bit, four to six inches above the plants, so that you're sure to be able to get a good airflow across all of your seed starts. The light rating on these is also 6,500 Kelvin, so it's perfect for starting your seeds. The downside is the price. This is double the price of your standard shop light method. A good four foot T5 high output fixture with four bulbs should cost between $100 and $125. And be very careful if you choose to go online to Amazon and purchase your T5 high output fluorescent. You'll see a lot of examples on there 
of light fixtures that are $70 or less. And I encourage you to look at all the one and two star ratings on those very inexpensive lights before you purchase them. Quality is going to be a problem if the price point is too low. With a T5 high output fixture, in most cases, you're going to get what you pay for. And if you buy one that's extremely cheap, you may get a lemon. And finally, before we sign off this week, I want to put up a graphic of a example of an LED grow light that is being marketed right now for $40 per light. It's a two foot light fixture. And I want to put up a picture of the light right here. And then I want to put up a picture of the description of the light and what it grows. And in this description, it shows seedlings to vegetative state to you growing tomatoes inside with this one $40 LED grow light from Walmart. I want to flip now and show you what they give you for data as far as how much energy this light has. And this is a 20 watt light and then it's going to give you some numbers that are PAR, which is the photosynthetically active radiation. Um, it's going to give you PPFD, which is your photosynthetic photon flux density. And I want to show you this because all of this is extremely misleading to buyers. This two foot light at $40 in order to do the same thing that those two shop lights did for $50, you would need four of these. That's $160 that you would need to spend. And you most certainly could never grow a tomato plant to a fruiting stage with this 20 watt light indoors. As a beginner gardener, I want you to be careful of the marketing out there, especially around LED lights. If it's your first set of lights, go with the tried and true three rule method, square foot of your growing space, light color and light intensity of standard lights. If you're still really interested, you want to buy LEDs, you want to understand what photosynthesis photosynthetic photon flux density is, how it impacts the amount of time your lights have to be on a day. Next week, I'll put out a video all about LEDs and if you want to purchase an LED, how you can go about selecting one. But the bottom line is a good LED that's going to put out more light than that high output fluorescent that we talked about is going to cost more money. And you can do just as fine with the three examples that we talked about today. My name is Riley. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And we would love to have you ring that bell so you'll be notified next week when we put out the video of growing lights under LED.